Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Still can't believe I'm saying that. Thomas is behind the screen today, so thank God he can see if my head is cut off, not like last time. Here we are, I am downstairs in my basement. This video is gonna be all about inventory and how to store your inventory and how to label and how to do all of that fun stuff. So if you're starting out as a small business reseller, probably this is a lot for you, but if you have multiple items, like then I suggest you get a system that works best for you that is organized and is num numer numerical 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 that is numerical as you can see all the boxes are numbered so I have from one up until you probably can't see it but 301 every single one of those items are numbered and labeled and put into those big boxes they're first put in a bag I can show you here for example so this is number 129 I just pulled it out of the box that is 122 to 137 so if number 129 sells I know which box to go to and I know which item to pull even though I don't know what exactly is this item so it doesn't matter as long as I have the number and it matches with the item on Poshmark I have to check the color the fabric and the title to make sure it's the right item sometimes you can miss number items and you can send the wrong items to people if you don't double check so you have to cross check between Poshmark and the items and the inventory to make sure it's all right before you send it out let me put this back the bags are recycled they would have been garbage or in the landfill so i actually thrifted the bags that i store my items in once an item sells i take off the number and i put it on a new item that i just listed so that i can store it again so these numbers are all recyclable i haven't reached more than a 301 tag so down here if thomas would so kindly move the camera you can see the boxes are not the same as those that's when i know these are not closed they're not items that are numbered they are just bags Bags or accessories or little cute things that are not supposed to be in bags or stored away so I just put them down there they're so easy to find I just pull out the box and I remember which bag is in which box and I just store it like that and then I bag it and then send it its way when it sells so I don't need to number them as much I just need to number the clothes this unit I actually bought on Facebook Marketplace, so even this is thrifted. I rented a truck with my amazing fiance and we drove all the way up north and we bought it and we came back here, we put it and then we started putting these boxes. They came with it, the guy was so nice. He just gave us these cute boxes with it and they're collapsible and you can reuse them obviously so it's all environmentally friendly and recycled. So I bought it for about $70, so I made the money back by selling items. It's so easy to use. It's not gonna collapse on itself. I'm not gonna lose the items. It's so organized. It keeps it clean. It is perfect. I wanna show you guys my other side. So this is just jeans, pants, dresses that can be folded, all of that jazz. You might come and ask, what about jackets? Let me tell you, this is where I keep my jacket and chunky sweaters and things that won't really fit in these boxes. As you can see here, I have a plethora of jackets, but I wanna show you guys how I number them. You see it? Okay. So this little tag here has a number, it starts with a Z, so it says Z3, as you can see here, these are also numbered but without letter. When something sells and I see Z, I know it's up on this hanger, but if I see no letter, then I know it's in here. Even though the numbers are repeated, the letter helps me differentiate between the boxes and the jackets. So whenever an item sells from here, I just remove the item from the hanger and I have my numbers. So if an item is thrifted and I want to store it, I just put it on one of those, pop it on, copy the number onto Poshmark and that's it. Super easy, super helpful, super organized, very cheap. And I know they're plastic, don't come at my life. I was desperate and I really needed them. So if you have any questions that I have not covered in my inventory video, please let me know. I think I covered everything. Just wanted to show you guys how I can inventory and store everything so easily and so fast. I hope that helps you. I hope that motivates you to maybe start, maybe keep an inventory system, maybe stay organized. If I can do it, you can do it and you can do it in a very simple way that will help you. It works for me. If it doesn't work for you, let me know and let me know why. Maybe I can learn. I see you guys next week. Don't forget to like my video if you like it dislike it if you don't like it and subscribe if you'd like to know more and i'll see you next week